again today. Today we will speak about uh, the Chinese as a religious people from beginning. They have been uh, worshipping the heaven and we will look at the character for heaven. The character for heaven is first a mouth up there and under the mouth there is this character we had in uh, uh, the first part yesterday. So this means heaven and uh, this heaven the Chinese have worshipped in Beijing they have a ark called Temple of Heaven where they have worshipped heaven and prayed to heaven for a good harvest and other good things. And the Bible is telling that God created man in his image, in his likeness. And we will see that uh, the character I had yesterday is really similar. If we take away the mouth that symbolizes authority, we see that we are created in the image of God. And this is the story about Adam, how he was created in the image, in the likeness of God. And I will say that the God that uh, we believe in the God of the Old Testament, the God of the New Testament is also the God of the Chinese. Because if we believe all people are created, that I believe in Adam and Eve, also the Chinese people have come from Adam and Eve, and I believe they have come and they know about this. So, yeah, let's see uh, I can tell one other name for uh, God, uh, the God of the Chinese, except heaven. Another word is Shangdi, that is meaning uh, the emperor above. And Shangdi, uh, originally, or an older uh, version of uh, how to say it, is Shangdai. And Shangdai, it has quite uh, similar sounds quite similar like El Shaddai as we know is uh, Hebrew and from the Bible El Shaddai uh, God and Shangdai I believe they have the same origin and uh, this was uh, spelled Da and it means big the oldest man in the world Da and this spells Tien Tien and I must say it sounds a little bit like like the word for God also. I did, don't remember exactly now, but it was Latin or Hebrew or something like that. Okay, let's see. Uh, the Temple of Heaven in Beijing. <coughs> Is this park. This is a handwritten map of the park, Temple of Heaven in Beijing. Many people go there and yeah, look at these things. I don't know about so much about what this is and what has happened here actually. Many people, most people don't think about it actually, what it this is. This is the place where the Chinese have been worshipping heaven worshipping God and it's a big park for people to be there uh, in their free time all people can have a lot of free time be here and doing exercise and doing nice things so it's a really great park in the center of uh, Beijing and uh, quite fresh air because here is a lot of trees so here we have uh, one of the three buildings here that is uh, of uh, mm, main interest and uh, the three important buildings. This is the Hall of Prayer for Good Harvest and this was the place the Emperor first visited and he was praying and fasting here. 
And then he went to the second place, here is the Imperial Vault of Heaven. And after that he continued to a very big altar. And actually the Temple of Heaven in Chinese has the meaning uh, Heaven Altar. So it's the Altar of Heaven and here is a really huge altar where they were offering things to Heaven, to God. And, and uh, this was about 100 years ago, so they uh, didn't do this anymore because at that time the last emperor and then they, things were changing. So here they offered things uh, like um, um, silk, like precious stone, jade, but also animals. And I don't know what time they have been offering animals there, but I will tell you more about it, that. But uh, at this time, uh, the creation of Adam, and uh, in next uh, clip I will also do about the creation of Eve, and it will come also today. God bless you.